Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Luke Branquino Show. Reason why we call it that? I'm Luke Branquino. This is my show. My competitive approach is I don't give a shit what they know about me. I'm going to do it the way JB does it. JB, thanks for joining us. You know, going through watching you my whole career, $7.4 million in one event, that's damn impressive. But to get there, we've had some bumps and bruises. I've been getting hurt since I started getting on bulls. I hung up to a bull at a jackpot and drug up underneath him. He stumped me in the belly, broke all my ribs on my right side, lacerated my liver, bruised my kidneys, my spleen. Oh! The hospital, they said I should have never made it out of the arena. And they told me it'd be about eight months before I get on another bull, and I told them they were crazy as hell. You're a detective, Mr. Mason. It's a fancy word for a busybody, but yes. We believe in something so big. They tell us what to do, and we do it. But we do it, not them. So it's on us, all of All right, my guest now, we're gonna have Matthew Reese. Matthew is a good friend, an actor. Yellowstone One has kind of opened up the Western way of life again to America and really right. to the world. And you being yes. in that industry, do you see that as much as we do? Uh, uh, 100%, 100%. I was intoxicated with cowboy culture growing up. It was it was because it was so exotic to us in Britain. To see the kind of, you know, the, the, the big, wide, arid vistas of Westerns to us was so exotic and it, it kind of epitomized something very strongly about America. I totally agree about Yellowstone. That's really, it's really captured something again and brought it back. And I think that's true of Westerns. Westerns seem to be on, on, a, on this cycle. All right, I got my guest, Bonnie Jill Laughlin. She's an actress, TV model, uh, NBA scout, which is just mind blowing to me because in a male dominant world, she's doing it there. Getting into that world, everyone's like, oh, you know, it's, it's for a man and uh, there's no place for a woman. And whenever I would go to like scout a game, they'd be like, well, oh, are you media or are you here for the cheerleaders? And I'm like, no, I'm here to scout the players. <laughs> what do you have coming up next that, you know, the fans that are watching can expect to see from you? What's really exciting is that I finally got Sports Illustrated uh, to convince them to do some rodeo segments. You know, just kind of let the mainstream people know about uh, the rodeo world and how hard it is and how the life is and being on the road. And you know, like you talked about that the, the, the you know pay, the salaries aren't like the NFL and the NBA and the MLB and how patriotic the sport is. I want to get rodeo out to fans of sports football, baseball, basketball, hockey, whatever, and let them understand that, hey, this is an American sport. The more exposure we can get out there for rodeo, the, mm -hmm. the better we're going to be. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs>